Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you another tutorial. Um, before I start though, I am going to say it's a very sad day when Hydlide has to feel the need to resign his post. And I just want to say I hope that we see you back soon because I know a lot of people, including myself, want to see some more of those fabulous tutorials that you put together. And believe me, they don't go unnoticed and they are very much appreciated. So take a nice break, my friend, but please come back soon. Okay, now to the tutorial. This time, um, I got this idea from somebody on my YouTube video when I posted the um, Octo Kong loop player that I that I put together, and he was saying how it's a great loop player because you can play more than one loop at a time, do stuff like that. You can switch slots, go to a different set of loops. But he said that you can't re-trigger it, and with Octo Rex, it's difficult to re-trigger loops, but you can re-trigger them. And I've set up a button here, and if you listen. It does re-trigger. So yes, you can re-trigger your loops, and I'm going to show you how to do this. It's actually very easy, and it doesn't even include any extra devices. So let me just fold this up. Let me put this on mute, and I'm going to go into the other combinator, which is where we kind of left off, which we've got our loops, our 10 loops on the 10 pads, 10 first pads, and then we've got the loop slot sequencer, which I've already gone through and shown you, so I'm not going to show you this again. Um, I just want to go in, I'm going to take this Kong copy over here that I'm going to be using to trigger all my loops, which I need to press the run pattern devices to trigger them. Okay, now they're triggering. And uh, one thing that you are going to have to do, let's open up the programmer, is you're going to have to go to your Kong um, player and you're going to have to make sure that the received notes is off. Uh, you're also going to have to go to the um, loop slot CV, which is the Thor sequencer, and make sure that that's off and not receiving notes. All the other Dr. Rexes, you want to make sure that they're receiving notes. Um, it's very important that this little checkbox is checked. And also, uh, the way I always work this, I create a Kong device in my sequencer over here, and I play directly on my keyboard to play the Kong device, not the Combinator. I find this gives you a little bit more flexibility. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go down here, we're going to take a look, we've got the um, Thor, which is basically used as a CV source, and what the Thor is doing is it's going through the curve and going through all of these different um, uh, Octorex devices one at a time and this is what is being triggered by the, lot, the slot sequencer. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put um, this pad is going to be the re-trigger. Okay, and we're going to turn this around and this is going to, we're going to send the gate out up to the combinator's gate in. Okay, we are also going to send the note from the step se sequencer CV, send the note CV from the Thor up to the CV in on the sequencer. And what this takes advantage of is it takes advantage of the fact that in order to trigger a Kong, or sorry, in order to trigger a Dr. Octo Rex loop from playing, you can use your keys to actually trigger the start of the loops. Okay, I'm pressing um, one of the keys to trigger one loop, another key to trigger the other loop. So basically, um, we're going to use those same keys in the form of notes on the Thor to send that note data to the combinator, which in turn is going to play all of the Octorexes to play the appropriate loop. Um, because the sequencer is already set up to go through each of the Dr. Octorex devices from one to eight, you're going to use the same pattern going from the notes um, to trigger slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, all the way from 1 to 8. Now, the only thing you have to do is make sure that this is on full, okay, that your octaves are on full. And now you're going to take the first note and you're going to send that down to E0. 
Okay, E0 on that first one. Second one, we're going to take that down a little bit further, and this is going to be F0. Come on. Sorry, this is a little finicky. Okay, third one is going to be F sharp 0. Next one is going to be G0. G sharp 0. A0. A sharp 0. And then the last one is going to be B0. Okay, so now it's going through all of your, um, it's going to send the key the key note back up to play the combinator so now when you play through and you retrigger it retriggers the nice thing though is that it follows your loop slot so if you change your loop slot it'll retrigger that slot again change to another slot it retriggers that slot and it's going to retrigger all of your um, Octorex loops um, at the same time so it stays in sync as well, which is kind of nice. So that's your, that's your retrigger pad, and that's how you create it inside um, my Dr. OctoKong. Hope that helps you out. And uh, again, come visit me at reason101.net. I'm going to make this patch update to my previous tutorial there, and uh, I will make this available to everybody. Thanks for watching.